Hi guys, welcome back to a very special episode of GNG News. So there was a delay with this booster pack. It should have arrived yesterday, hence why I didn't put the video up yesterday. So I gave you guys another unboxing video to watch. But it's finally arrived, my Japanese promo Sun and Moon booster pack. And hopefully we get something decent in this one. Only five cards in Japanese packs. This is like the first time on my channel that I've done Japanese packs. So we're going to have a look at this pack. So you can see the ten energies there. As you can see, for sale in Japan only, made in Japan. I can't read Japanese, so I can't tell you what any of that says, apart from www.pokemonmiddlescorecards.com. And we have Solgary on the front of it, which is quite fitting because I have Pokemon Ultra Sun. So, I really want something decent. Oh, there's a really weird Japanese card at the front. It's in black and white as well. Let's see what this is. Okay, there's there's some sort of code there, guys, so you've got a code. Scan that and get what it is. And if anyone knows what this is, I think you can claim this at www.pokemonmiddlescorecard.com. And yeah, let me know what you get. If you get anything decent, it's okay. It's on me, it's fine. Um, but yeah, some, let's have a look at this. There's a little Pokemon symbol on the top of it. I can't read any of this, I'm really sorry. Apart from 2016 Pokemon Nintendo Creators Game Freak. Uh, I'm going to keep that. Oh, it's an event. www.middlescorecard.com Middle score redirect Middle score SM1 Middle score 01 Middle score. That looks like and it says Pokemon card games. Oh, so that's loads of Japanese. That's a Japanese Pokemon card tournament. Oh, that's a pretty cool little advertisement. Advertisement, I guess, because obviously it's in Japan, that would be somewhere local to Japan. Um, I guess this little QR scanner probably gives you more information on that. So, yeah, if anyone who is in Japan that is watching this, there you go. I'm glad I helped. Okay, so let's see what we got Paras, Shelder, Spinder. Timeable, yeah, and we got a a lowland Persian. Let's have a look at these cards and have a look at some of the differences. Uh, we'll examine we'll examine the Persian. So the border is white for one. That's a lot thicker as well. I find this border is a lot thicker. Have we got a British card here for a second. We're just going to compare and contrast the British. So to the left, as you can see, this is a British card. That's a pulse. And to the right, we have a dark version. So the symbols are obviously different, but they're from two different packs. So the Japanese one says SM15. Uh, I know this is a Sun and Moon booster pack, so SM probably means Sun and Moon. Um, the numbers... Uh, even the text that's been used... Is different. I know it's in a different language, but you can tell the text is different. Do they match up to being the same? So they they are the same width, like all the lines where you would have where the weakness would be. Um, this text box is slightly thicker than the British text box. Um, the Japanese cards feel a lot different, and the biggest difference that you will notice if you look at the back here, you have. All the energies displayed and an open Pokeball, whereas the British ones, it's just a Pokeball which is slightly tilted to the left hand side. Also, the British one has a blue sort of tinge to the middle of the Pokeball, whereas the Japanese one, the Pokeball, the middle of it where it's centered, is slightly raised at like a 25 degree angle and it's open and there's a light coming out of it. The Japanese Pokemon cards look better, but they don't feel they they feel very shiny but the problem with this is these will get damaged easier in my opinion i believe that these will these will be damaged a lot easier than what a british card would be because these i like to feel like i'm playing with the cards these feel too glossy in my hands so these are cards that i essentially would just put straight into sleeves but yeah thanks for watching the episode of gng news that was my unboxing of a japanese Sun and Moon Booster Pack. Have a good day, guys.